Hey guys, so here we are at part six out of six of the Saint Dragon build, well, the clear Saint Dragon build, where we're building Saint Dragon himself. Now, the thing is, you might have noticed that the background here, the building background here, is different from how it was in all the previous parts. And that's because, well, to be honest with you, the original Saint Dragon build that I recorded, it, like the original part six, was a uh, giant dumpster fire cluster, to be completely honest with you. You know, some of you guys who've been watching for a while probably know, sometimes I have trouble keeping stuff in frame while building. And I kind of did that for a lot of critical parts. It was really bad you know the first one or two instances I came across in editing I was like ah, I, I could probably get away with that but it got to a boiling point where I was like nope this is bad this is not gonna fly and I would feel really bad if I uploaded you know five out of six parts and then the sixth part was total crap oh man but it's it's not all bad because my original reaction to Saint Dragon uh, to Saint Dragon was actually pretty lukewarm. And the thing is, since then I've actually gotten used to the flaws in the engineering with the build that you're gonna see. And aesthetically, I'm a much bigger fan of it now, so it should feel like much less of a damp squib of a build. And then the one last thing is now I actually have a better idea of actually how to build it. I all you know on top of not filming things in frame properly, I also just screw up a few parts of the build but now I know now I've got a pretty darn good idea of how to do this so should be a lot less painful and a lot more straightforward this time so so further ado I guess we might as well get into it now in the original one uh, I did build it with Saint Blaster but this time I'm like nope I am gonna build this from scratch from the original guys so to get started here we gotta pull off the oh actually I believe these feet stay yeah so we pull off both the arms, completely pull the arms off entirely. I guess to, should I leave these in the back? So much for all my claims that uh, I was gonna do this so much better this time, eh? But yeah, so, do that there. And see that, connect that there. These connect here. And then, so unlike Saint Blaster, the feet connect in such a way to have like the toes pointing forwards rather than the pointed end of the foot, the the heel, however you want to describe it. Um, if this will just, there we go. Okay, I thought I was gonna have a tougher time with that. But yeah, that's gotta be how it goes. And then I'll be using these later. Um, one annoying thing is that these gold bits do not form the same crown for this guy's Saint Blaster and they actually just stay back here, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but oh well. And then the last step is in this mode, we actually show all of the bomber men revealed, not the, not the faces. I think to basically evoke the vibe of a Megazord, you know, where you can see all the all the Rangers in their in their Zord cockpits doing their thing, making it feel like more of a team effort, you know. All right, I think you, I think you get the point. So. Do the same thing over here. Pretty simple for the legs. If you guys have just seen a cut, I totally did not screw up putting the, the feet together the first uh, the first time again. I totally did not mix up the two sides because I don't need to hold these anymore. And then, so there we go with that. Let's try this again. Connect, connect, connect these two like this. And then, okay, okay. And then once again, Barmerman cockpit mode. Super cool, both of the beautiful blue and yellow legs. And saving their white pieces for later. So now, this is gonna be a little more interesting. See, this was another thing, is in many ways I was caught off guard uh, by seeing some of these sort of strange and atypical transformations I'd like to describe them as. Um, but now I know what to expect, so this should be smoother sailing. Um, fingers crossed. Unfortunately, the core does this core does not extend this time. But let's see here. So the only transformation here is flipping these. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, is flipping these. So this stays like this. 
And these orient like this with the claws facing inwards. Now we connect at the elbows. It's really cool how many different ways that these arms could be used. I really like this uh, triple transformation thing going on here. But, okay, look at that. That looks a lot better to me. One last thing here. Um, a lot of you are probably waiting for this, but boom. Top of St. Dragon's head. So that's pretty cool. And now, now we're getting Black Devaster involved, where some really critical things happen. Um, a lot of the major parts forming happens with this guy. He does a lot of the heavy lifting for this mode, but I mean, that only makes sense. So, we're gonna do a couple of things here. So number one, this is something I gotta point out, I didn't notice with the Black Devaster build, is look at that. Now, it doesn't fully lock in place, but there's a reason for this. But all in all, I think this is really, really cool. And um, you may notice that this guy's pretty loose in here, but there's kind of a reason for this. And now with that out, we can take this out. Unfortunately, I think something crappy happened in here, but um, that makes that piece loose, but oh well. And then we flip these two pieces up like that. So that should be everything we need for transforming this. This shouldn't be too bad. So take that out. This is gonna be the crappy part, I think. Yeah. The easier way is to just do this and then reinsert this into the foot. And same over here. It's just gonna be so much less painful to just do it this way. So which of all these little parts to work with first? We flip around these two like this. These are gonna help form the neck of our guy. Um, let's see, which way is the orientation? I believe, yeah, this should be the right way. So this right here is gonna form the lower jaw of St. Dragon. So it's gotta go like that. And then it goes like this, I believe. So there's this tiny little hole here and then there's this peg here. At first you might think that you gotta use both, but obviously they had to make these pieces clones of each other. So, but only one of the two is necessary. So that is the neck and the bottom part of this guy's jaw. And since we got him here, um, there's these tiny, little focus, yeah, see that tiny little peg there? And then we've got, I think it's just this little gap. If you can even see that in there. But I'm quite sure that's where it connects, and that feels about right. Yeah, so now you've got a hinging jaw for St. Dragon. Ah! Uh, Alright, <laughs> okay, I'll stop. So this is where things are going to start getting a little wild. So we take this off here. <sighs> going to be a little tough. Okay, that was a lot easier than the first time I built that. Oh man, this actually might be easier if I do it like this. So we do this, there we go. And now what's gonna happen is I believe these flip around because then you attach the claws. So then these, what were the outer gauntlets now become the inner thumb. Same with the other side. And of course you wanna flip this around just like that. Now here is what I came to realize is one of the jankiest parts. Oh. You actually don't need to flip these. Of the of the whole transformation, and it's this. Look at this. Wait, holy crap. It's actually sticking. Okay, so this one's a little loose. Um, this one fit like a charm, so I guess this is how they wanted it to work. But in my original one, both of these were insanely, insanely loose. Now this is the next super big flop. Probably the biggest flop with this whole build, but maybe there was no way around it, I don't know. But it's that the connection for like to make the tail here is this tiny little dot connecting to this tiny little peg on each side. Now, as you're gonna come to see, like this is already super crazy flimsy. That's literally the only connection for this whole huge piece. The next thing you'll come to learn is that as we, as we continue building is that this actually becomes a trigger for one of the firing mechanisms. It should not take a genius to figure out why this is a problem. I mean, you just saw it right there. Like these pieces barely even hold on just when you're holding it. So now imagine trying to actually like play a game with this and have this not fall apart in your hands. If you're actually trying to play a game, obviously you're probably gonna wanna rip these right off or hold it right friggin' here 
But yeah, that's probably the jankiest part of this whole thing. So this is one of the parts that I screwed up really bad in my previous build. And so it's this, so we gonna, we're gonna flip these out. <laughs> They're not supposed to be flipped out like this, you know, for Black Devaster or it's chicken mode's shoulders. But for, for this mode, th this is when they're like this. And then, so you orient them like this, and like this. I love how all these little bits that I wondered about before actually have a purpose. These two dots, these two points, plug in, and beautiful. And then we're gonna do this, obviously, on the other side, and uh, okay, so look at this. The shoulders become a freaking marble hopper. How cool is that? You know what? I actually probably should now connect this, connect the legs. So it's dual jointed there. Um, if you didn't get a good enough look, I mean, you can see one male, one female, one, fe one female, one male, and doing the do. Beautiful. Almost forgot two other little, two last little parts that we got to slap on these onto the wings. I think these were much more clearly for broadening the shoulders of Saint Blaster rather than, you know, like this seems kind of superfluous on these wings, but whatever, no big deal. And then these are gonna be flare for the tail I think these were probably a little more essentially for the tail than they were um, as hip flare frick for Saint Blaster. I mean, I can I can swear on this channel now. So there we go. Okay, so there's your tail flare. You got these two little pigs here. It's one little pig here. Since it's just one pig, yeah, no, you still don't get much of a pivot here. But okay. So that's the head section connected. A little bit ah, friggin' big for from the amount of room we got to work with here. And then now this would be too far back, so it connects up here, which I believe is the sole function for for this peg spot. All these little intricacies, I love how they all like reveal their purpose, their final purpose with this mode. So that plugs in there. And then now we're gonna do it with the crappy arm. Hopefully the shoulder does not combust and explode here like the other one. Okay, we've got ourselves a dragon torso. If it will cooperate. And now, again, stylistically, I mean, we got two sets of dots, only one set of pegs. But the only peg that really makes sense to me, I think you can set it further back to just jam it in place. I think that's what it's for. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so check this out. So there's this little, tiny little clip, if you can see it in there, and it connects to this spot on here, sealing this in place, and then boom, look at that. They've incorporated this little black bomber man. I think it's Kurapon. Kurapon's cockpit is part of this whole tail trigger assembly, which is super cool. Yeah, If so if I pushed it further back, yeah, there would be no room for it to extend. So it would just lock it from shooting. I guess that's an option they wanted to give you. That is Saint Dragon. So the first time I built this guy, I was not enamored. I think the biggest thing I disliked was how much of like the tail was just black. Well, just look how colorful the rest of this is. And then you just get this big, like monochrome back section. I didn't think it worked that well last time, but honestly, the rest of it, really is winning me over this time um, and I'm a much bigger fan of it than I was before so yeah we're not getting my genuine first reaction but my first reaction to this really was not that great anyway so so there is your saint dragon scream into the high heavens I think that's friggin incredible a giant megazord dragon beat him on I mean as a beat -em on fan, I, I'm not really sure how you can hear that string of words and not get hyped, but I think this is freaking incredible, to be honest with you. Even, like, as janky as many sections of the engineering are, 
I, I still think in the end it turns out pretty darn awesome. I do not have Combat Phoenix here for scale, but there's Black Devaster, and then I think I compared Black Devaster to Combat Phoenix in a previous video, so I guess there's your scaling, but I believe me, this is a big freaking beat em on in case you couldn't already tell. But um, yeah, that is one hell of a beat em on. I'm pretty darn stoked about it, and I, I guess that's about it. So for now, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> So, for now, I'll, uh, I'll see you next time, guys. And I uh, hope you get to check out something this cool again.